Hey guys, Outdoor Enthusiast 88 here again. So I have a new review for you today, and this is on a more of a budget item for any of the avid outdoorsmen out there. This is the Leatherman Sidekick. And like I said, this is a budget option from Leatherman. You can get these for around the $30 range, maybe upwards of $40, depending on the day. Um, I picked up mine from MidwayUSA.com, and I believe the deal that I got was just under $30 shipped. So I could not pass up on that deal. So keep an eye out there. Amazon, I think, is up to like $40 some dollars. So, but budget, cheaper than any other Leatherman, and comes with a nice little Leatherman nylon sheath. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I've had this for a few months now, kind of testing with it, playing around with it. And it does come with this cool little carabiner tool, which I throw in my range bag, but you know, whatever, we'll talk more about that. So, uh, one of the things you'll notice first off the bat is the fact that it actually has a lanyard loop. It's not considered part of the 14 tools that come with this thing, but it is actually really hard to get out. You actually need a tool to pry it out of its spot. So, kind of interesting, but it is a lanyard tool or lanyard uh, loop if you want to put anything on there and whatever. So, so to begin, there's that lanyard loop right there it kind of slides in there and there is no way to retrieve it so kind of interesting but get your pliers right spring action needle nose pliers same old same old typical leatherman right uh, you got the needle nose part you got the regular plier part um, you have the wire cutters also consider one of the tools a wire stripper which is probably a little further back if you notice that wire cutters down to a stripper so they put a lot they put four four tools four tools in the pliers which is cool spring loaded got some grease on it from the factory still pretty neat good quality I mean and you see some reviews talking about slop no there's no slop it's it's great good quality tool so far that I've got at least the one I have right here that I bought locks up nice opens up nice flips open just fine no problem whatsoever. It does have a clip. The pocket clip can go on any of the points. It's removable and adjustable. Pretty neat to have a clip on there. A lot of Leathermans do not have clips, but this one is kind of meant for you can actually put in your pocket. And again, it's cheaper, so you don't have to be worried about banging the crap out of it. Has a saw as one tool. I'm on like number five already, right? A very nice 420HC knife blade. Very, 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 very sharp. Has a really nice kind of point to it. Let's have a scrap piece of paper and I'll show you. Leatherman have always been known for basically being able to shave paper. Get that edge for you. There you go. Very nice blade. Look at that. Nice paper shavings. The blades actually, the saw and the knife can be open at the same time and they both have these locking mechanisms to fold them so you need to go ahead and push that down so if you aren't used to a folding knife that has that now you know that you push it down and it releases the fixed part of the blade nice and tucked away neatly all the rest of the tools are actually on the inside so what you have on this side here is a Phillips screwdriver and a medium flathead screwdriver. Pretty cool. Handle most tasks. Um, these tools, so for instance the screwdriver, they do lock open. Now there are no, it has a good, it has a good spring tension to lock it open, but there is no um, kind of like a mechanism you got to push to lock it open. Now you can go ahead and fold it Use it like a typical Leatherman. Very nice. So, moving on. So those are the two more on this side. Now on the other side, you have a serrated knife. Again, that 420HC steel. Serrated knife. You have... It has little tabs there to grab it too, which is nice. You have a file which is cool. You got a ruler 
with inch and centimeter markings. You call this a metal and a wood file. So, and actually, they did throw, I believe, yeah, that's a small flathead screwdriver, in case you're wondering. Each tool you can get to individually, uh, I will say it's a little difficult because the lines, let me see if I can get a good picture of that for you. The lines kind of line up. So you need to kind of get in there, pick which one you want out. This is the can opener. It does have a kind of a blunt end to it on the one side. I'm sorry, bottle opener and can opener, right? It does have an interesting set up on some of these like check this out this is right here a sharp point which could be good for stripping wires it could be good for you know snipping twigs or something I mean you know you can use any any this any way you'd like but that's really neat how that's set up kind of a hidden little blade tool in there uh, the lanyard loop is in there you can see that hard to get to now great for a uh, first-time Leatherman uh, you know, if someone really wants to try one of these out, take a look at them. They're really neat. Um, some of you may have seen my Gerber Dime video review that I just posted. Check it out if you haven't. This is a really cool little tool as well. Much smaller, you know, much smaller scale. But this, I'm um, talking about weight, this is only like 2.1 ounces, whereas this is 7 ounces. So, you know, everyday carry, I just throw this in my pocket. I mean, it does a lot of the same stuff this will do on a smaller scale. So, you don't, you know, obviously some of the heavier duty tools or jobs you will really want. A, you will want a Leatherman or something better. But, you know, this is great for throwing in the range bag or what have you, taking on your backpacking trip. I use it for camping all the time. Uh, this is kind of just everyday carry, EDC. So, uh, what else? Oh, so the carabiner comes with it, right? Little tool. It's called a carabiner accessory. Ooh, ah, look at it, look at it. It's so fancy. Now, this comes with a couple of tools. Not only is it a carabiner, but bottle opener, little bottle there. A hex, um, a hex bit driver. If you have a hex screw that exact size you need to take care of but it's free free little carabiner so I just throw this on like one of the lanyard loops on my backpack or on my range bag and away I go so to conclude this is actually a really neat kit to get I definitely cannot say it's a bad Leatherman I mean it's definitely not gonna be as rugged as your ones that cost two or three times as much but for the price you pay if you're just getting into Leatherman's or if you're just getting the multi tools in general take a look at the sidekick because you can't go wrong for right now all right well thanks a lot and uh, you know ask if you have any questions leave them in the comments below like the video subscribe to the channel so I can make more videos and have a good one